Women's basketball looking to get a big win at home on Wednesday night against Castleton University. The Beacons trailing Castleton in the LEC standings by two games for the fourth spot in the conference. And early on, it would be all Castleton in the first quarter. They go up 15-5 to early. And then Tatiana Fevri hits a buzzer beer at the end of the first quarter, trimming that deficit to just six. However, the Spartans would continue to roll in the first half, up 11 points until the Beacons respond. Meg Dixon hits a deep three and cuts that deficit down to eight. And then Dixon, once again, with it at a 10-point game, nails a three from the right side. We're down to a seven-point deficit. Sonny Green then joins the three-point parade with the th- corner three right there. And just like that, we're down to a four-point deficit. Carrie Ann Freena hits a free throw at the end of the first half. It's 31-31. Heading into the second half, and again, the third quarter would be dominated by the Spartans. Elisa Magro, who had a big game for the Spartans, leads a 6-0 run to start off the second half to give the Spartans a six-point lead. And then Emily Adams capping it off with her layup down low makes it 39-33 to Spartans. Meg Dixon with the Beacons down by four hits this layup and one opportunity. She would not hit the free throw. It'd be 39-37. Then we head to the fourth. It's 49-40 in favor of Caston. Dixon's going to hit this corner three, just like that, the Beacons trail by just six. And they continue to chip away at that deficit in the fourth quarter. Dixon, again, corner, nails it. An 8-0 run to start the fourth, makes it a one-point deficit for the Beacons. And then eventually they take their first lead of the game as Alexa Potter, with the layup down low off the sunny green miss, makes it 52-51 to with just over five minutes to play. And this is where the game became a thriller down the stretch. Liz Bailey, who would have a big game for the Spartans, 25 points and seven rebounds, lays it up and in. Castleton's back in front. And then with a two-point deficit, Meg Dixon ties it back up with a minute and a half left at 54 all with her layup at the baseline. And then once again, the Beacons are going to take the lead as Carrie Ann Farina's left all alone in the paint. Nobody around her splits between the defenders, lays it up and in. It's 56-54, UMass Boston. Out of a timeout, it's Magro again for the Spartans. Lays it up and in. Just like that, we're tied up with 11 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Beacons with the final shot. Sabela Jensen wide open in the corner right here. Carrie Ann Freena brings the defense over into her area. Jensen is going to try and get the shot to go, and she is blocked in front by Felicia Poirier, and we head to overtime. Meg Dixon nails a three to kick off overtime, and just like that, the Beacons ahead by three. They'd go up by four, and then the Spartans would respond, taking a 61-60 to lead on two Magro free throws, and now the Beacons looking to respond with 25 seconds off. Meg Dixon airballs the first free throw, but hits the second. We're tied up at 61 all, and the Castleton Spartans have a chance to win it. It's again Magro down low, looks for the layup, can't get it. It's a scrum underneath. Magro once again, Can't hit it. Dixon secures the rebound. We're headed to a second overtime. And in this one, it would be all Spartans. Kelly Vuzz, who was playing with four fouls for about two periods, would hit a layup and one opportunity. Then it was all Elise Magro from there. She finishes the game with 30 points on 9 of 30 shooting, 12 of 16 from the free throw line. She leads the way as Castleton's going to end up winning this one. 76-67, 76-67, to 67. Meg Dixon, her 10th double-double, 24 points, 13 rebounds in the loss. The Beacons now ensuring themselves that if they get into the LEC tournament, they'll be either the 5th or 6th seed. They head on the road on Saturday afternoon to take on Rhode Island College at 1 o'clock p.m.